Apparently Michael Jordan was wrong about this year's NBA being about a couple of great teams and 28 others that are going to be garbage. By the looks of things, the league is going for all 30 straight into the trash can. It's pretty clear MJ was talking about the Warriors and the Cleveland Cavaliers being the two great teams, right? After all, they have played in three straight NBA finals, are heavily favored to do so a fourth time, and come June, which is a long, long, long way away, we'll meet once again. But at the moment, a couple of days before Halloween, they're both playing like garbage. The Cavaliers lost at home by 19 to the New York Knicks Sunday night. For heaven's sake. And in the second half of the league's waste management doubleheader, the Warriors committed 26 turnovers and blew a 14-point lead in a 115-107 collapse to the Detroit Pistons at Oracle Arena. There might be reason to be alarmed if we are to judge by the blue steam emanating from Steve Kerr's ears. He's a stickler about turnovers to begin with, so when you commit 26 and surrender 33 points off of them, you have to know the coach's blood pressure might need checking. The total matches the highest under his Warriors tenure, and the last time it happened was in November of 2014, just a couple of weeks into his rookie bench run. Look, it was a terrible game and the Warriors have played too many terrible games out of the gate. Fans really liked the 24-0 start a couple of years ago. Last year wasn't so bad either. Golden State didn't lose its third game until December 1, after jumping out to a 16-2 start. This year, they're 4-3. Hug. And the Cavs are 3-4. Oklahoma City, with its great new trio, is 3-3. San Antonio, after a 4-0 start, has lost back-to-back -back games to Orlando and Indiana. What's going on? Good question, but it might have something to do with the calendar. During halftime, we read up on Cleveland's dispiriting loss to the Knicks, and it appears LeBron James hit squarely on the trouble, for the Cavs, for the Warriors, for everybody else in the NBA who should be better than they are right now. What month is this for me? October? James said. I'm not about to go crazy over it right now. It's too long of a season. I've been a part of this way too many times. And while nobody on the Warriors had that declarative of a response, they all essentially said the same thing on the court. While Carrailed and ranted about nobody caring, none of the players seemed to be on the verge of blowing a cerebral gasket. We shouldn't either, hard as it may be, to watch the Warriors play like garbage. It's too early to be playing championship basketball. It's too early to be playing basketball. Heck, we don't even know who the baseball champion is yet, and we're barely halfway through the NFL season. The Warriors played their seventh game Sunday night. At this point last year, they'd only played two. It's nice that the league is stretching out the season to decrease the number of back-to-back -back games and eliminate those four games and six nights abominations. But the price paid is some very ragged hoops. It was pretty predictable what Kerr was going to say when we lobbed him that theory post-game. Rejected, as expected. If everybody had a week shorter preseason, then everybody is in the same boat, he said. You can present that as your theory and maybe you're right, but it doesn't matter to us. For us, the season is here, and we are seven games in. We must be leading the league in turnovers. If we are not first, then we have to be in the top few. It just has to matter enough. Right now, it just doesn't seem to matter. Our guys are lacking in energy, focus and discipline. A number of times, Kerr said his players simply didn't care enough. Kevin Durant didn't agree. I think we care about the game, Durant said. Obviously, everybody wants to win, but it's just the small details that we got to just lock in a little more. Stephen Curry actually drew a hearty laugh from the media, and he laughed too, when he said the Warriors' early season malice has been so unpredictable. I think the good thing is every night it's something different, he said. I think we focus on one thing, and forget about the next, and vice versa. We've just got to put the whole formula together at some point, because we don't want to be learning lessons the hard way as we go through the season.
while not as forthright as Lebrun, Curry seemed much more willing to accept the it's just October and way too early to panic notion. Honestly, I think it is weird being October 29, or whatever and this is usually when the first game is, he said. You look on Instagram and you see this is the day Lebron played his first game 14 years ago, or this is the ninth anniversary of my first game against Houston back in 09. So it's weird that we're seven games in. I don't know how much that plays into our effort and our level of play right now, but it is weird just thinking about it. This is our first time adjusting to something new. Other teams are doing that too, and we just have to push through it. And as Lebron James advises, let's try not to go crazy. Let's save some angst for November, eh? And the next eight months, count them, eight, to come.